Hi everyone, I'm Danny Walker. You're watching Pageant Access. Welcome to part two of NAM Nationals 2015 recap. In case you weren't able to attend NAM Nationals this year, I wanted to go over some of the things that I saw in regards to the Queen's competition. I'm gonna start with interview. Even though we don't get to watch interview, I did talk to some girls about things that they were asked in that interview competition because I think that so many girls really worry about the interview competition and it really isn't that crazy. The questions were pretty common and I really didn't think that they were much different from things that you would be asked at state. The girls got asked things like, what would you change if you could in your school? What's the biggest issue that's facing your generation? How can you be a great example on social media? If you were crowned as the new national queen, what would you do for your first appearance? Nothing too crazy. Uh, really easy questions that you can use to incorporate into your personal brand and explain to the judges why you should be the new national title holder. All right, moving right along to intro. So as usual, I see girls get up for intro and they're either too quiet or they're too loud. That's not good. Please practice your volume control and just be aware of it. Please relax your arms while you're waiting. I saw so many girls step on stage and their arms were held outside of their body, which is so unnatural. And then other times I would see girls and as soon as they would go up there and take the mic, I could see all their nerves because they would squish their arms in really, really tight. Just relax, be natural. Please don't do that little pageant foot switch thing after intro. It's way too pageanty, way overdone. Here are my top overdone quotes for NAM Nationals 2015. Putting the I'm possible in impossible. A dream is a wish your heart makes. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. I believe in pink. And of course, the classic, I have determination and I have a dream. Please stop stealing Brianna Haggerty's 2006 National American Miss Intro Girls. It's been viewed over 66,000 times on YouTube and you are not the only one stealing it. I feel like I see a lot of the same things are formed where every year you see girls that are walking too fast, girls that are walking too slow, girls that have one arm that's swinging and then one dead arm. You see girls that are modeling their gowns. Remember, form wear is not about the gown, it's about you. You don't need to be twirling your gown around on stage or flicking up the chiffon with the sides of your hands. We get it, you're wearing a chiffon gown, great. All you're doing is distracting me from you. And form wear is all about you. Preteens, I was surprised in gown to see too much boobs. You're a preteen. At NAM, you really don't even see teen or miss title holders walking around with like a ton of cleavage. And I saw some preteen contestants this year that had a lot of cleavage on stage. And it's just kind of weird and uncomfortable to see for such a young age division. Please don't do the weird sidewalk, the crab walk as we call it. The judges can see you. You don't have to walk sideways. It's very unnatural. Watch your arms as usual. You don't want to do super pageant, weird, unnatural arms and I do see a lot of that. Be aware of your eye contact. Some girls I see just run off stage and they don't even look at the judges at all. I know that it sounds really obvious but a lot of girls don't even look at the judges. This this is something new that I have never had to address before and something I never even thought about. And that's for the girls that are gonna be receiving flowers. I saw so many of those girls get to the end of their formal walk, they turned around, they were looking at the judges, and then they went like this. And then they waited for dad to put flowers in their arms. Girls, it was so weird, it looked so strange. I saw so many girls, it was like a robot, it was like, really bizarre and it also wasn't spontaneous it kind of ruined the moment since it was like you knew that you were getting flowers and everybody knows you know you're getting flowers but kind of you know just pretend that you don't know that you're getting flowers what happened with a couple of girls though was that dad forgot to give them the flowers and their arm was just out there and they were just like okay you don't want that to happen to you of course there were those girls that were like gazing up at dad that were like for being here, Dad. It was just so choreographed, it was so over the top. Like, if you do that naturally, sure, but don't plan to do things like that, girls. Don't plan to be like, okay, Dad, no, I'm gonna look at you here, and you're gonna smile back at me, or you're gonna kiss my hand, or you're gonna do something like that. It's just, it's not genuine or sincere, and the judges see you right through that. Ugh. 
This is Goosey, and he just wanted to say goodbye for today. Thank you guys for watching this week's episode. I hope that it helped you gain some insight on some things you might have seen at Nationals this year. If you saw other things, please leave those in the comments below. I'm sure that other girls would appreciate to hear from you. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel if it's helped you out. Also, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Danny Walker or at Pageant Access. You can find me on Facebook at Pageant Access or Danny Walker, and you can always tweet me at Danny Walker Music. Thanks for joining me this week, and I look forward to hearing from you.